my channel, my name is Leah. Today's video is all about my experience of being on maternity leave and how I'm feeling about going back to work. So before I had my baby, I was determined to go back to work and I was telling everyone that I did want to go back to work and I definitely did. Um, I, I guess part of that was my independence and wanting to provide for myself, obviously also provide for my family, um, but I've always provided for myself, so the thought of staying home and not bringing money into the home didn't really sit well with me. So I definitely wanted to return to work and I wanted to maintain that independence. Um, so I just wanted to share with you some of, my, some of my feelings of while I was on maternity leave, how I coped with that. Um, maybe it will help you, maybe it'll just give you some information, I don't know. But I thought I'd share with this with you now and then share with you how I feel when I've gone back to work um, and the transition and doing that and obviously being at work but also having a baby that I is my main responsibility but um, work would be a, a big responsibility as well and of course I will want to um, make sure I do the best job I can while I'm there but I've got the baby that I will obviously want to make sure he is safe and well and if he's sick obviously he will be my main responsibility. So first of all when I first started maternity leave um, I wasn't too sure how I was going to be, how I'd cope with being at home all the time. Um, I like to stay busy all the time. Um, I do like to have downtime, I just find it really hard to have downtime. Um, I've always got a long list of things that I want to do and so I do find it really difficult just to say right tonight I'm doing nothing although I am very capable of that. I know in the past if I've had a week off from work and I've just been at home I sometimes can get a little bit lazy even though I am a really motivated person and I want to do 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 I think sometimes I push myself so much that when I do have that time off I just crash. So. I thought, well, how am I going to be when I'm off all the time? Am I going to get the motivation to keep busy and to do different projects? You know, not just jobs in the home, you know, cleaning and tidying. I didn't want to just do that. I wanted to do some things for myself, for the home, for my family. And I was unsure how I was going to cope with that. I've actually, I've actually coped with it really well in the sense that I do keep very busy. I know some people have said, are you looking forward to get back to work because you're bored? I'm never bored. I don't have time to be bored. I probably have less, a lot less time now. I know I've got a baby to care for, but even besides that, I'm so, I've got so much less time now than I probably did before working full time. Um, I do have a number of projects I've always got on the go and I've done lots of things for the home. I've made things for my little boy, some little craft projects. Um, so at first it felt really, really weird to be pottering around the village. Um, I remember one day my brother had come to visit. He was one of his days off work, so he came to visit and we went off to a little village. And it felt so weird to be in this little village on a Monday afternoon or mo Monday morning, whatever day it was. It didn't seem right. It didn't seem right to go to the supermarket during the week, during the day. You know, those things you do at the weekend or in the evening when you've got spare time. So at first I found it really difficult just to enjoy the time I had off work. You know, I didn't have to do anything else. Um, on a regular basis, Keith would tell me, don't worry about anything else. Your main responsibility is looking after the baby. So whether that was going for a walk or going to visit someone, whatever it took for me to just be happy in myself and to look after this baby. Obviously as time got on I needed to start taking on more things um, and I did do a lot in the home as well um, but yeah I found it really hard to just relax and, and enjoy that beginning part of being on maternity leave which is a shame I should have enjoyed it more and um, my from my experience I would say to anyone starting maternity leave I know it's difficult when you've got a newborn baby but just try to enjoy it if you've gone from working full time to being home full time, enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it as much as you can because the time will come when you're either thinking about going back to work or maybe having a second baby or maybe you're thinking well actually I shouldn't really go out during the day all that much, I should be doing jobs around the home. Um, but at the beginning when you're just getting used to this new person in your life, just enjoy it and 
be as relaxed as possible. That's going to make you a happier person and that will definitely help um, with your baby being a, a relaxed, happy baby. As time went on and the money dropped that I received on maternity leave, uh, the, the stress of money uh, was a big factor in me not necessarily enjoying my maternity leave. I felt this huge responsibility to still provide for the family and I think I probably will always have that huge responsibility whether I work or not I will still feel it because I have always looked after myself and you know provided for myself yes I have had parents who have provided for me and, I, and given me a lot over the years and I'm so grateful for that but particularly the, the last I don't know how many years I have provided for myself and so I think I probably will always feel that responsibility and I'm sure many others um, do too and so that was really difficult I felt paralysed and not be able to help as much as I wanted to. Our money was going down, we were having to rely on savings in order to buy food. Um, luckily we had some savings, um, it wasn't very much but it, we were so lucky to have those because we definitely needed them. Um, and, but I did feel really paralysed to not be able to give more financially. Um, I, you know, I had to be home with the baby, now I could have gone back to work earlier and some people might say, well why didn't you go back to work earlier, but I wanted to be home with my little boy until he was of an older age. Now I still feel like he's not quite the, at the age that I'd want to leave him, but I, I, I think now's the time to go back um, and I will come to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I did, it was so difficult. Not having the money, when you're at home you spend more money, um, you know, you've got heating and elect electricity with the lights and things like that, I was using the TV, my laptop, all those things that I wouldn't be using if I was at work and of course the money coming in is less and yet we've got more outgoings and you've got a baby to care for and that is just so hard and I'm, I know that many other people feel exactly the same and have, have the same struggles as, as me in, in that. I'm not sure if I would have felt differently if I'd just said I am a stay-at-home mum, um, I'm not going back to work after maternity leave and this is just the way it is. Money wouldn't have been any more, we would have had less money, but I guess that would have been a decision that we would have made, we would have come to terms with and that would have just been our life then. I'm not sure, I've not been in that situation so I can't say, but I don't know whether that might have helped me deal with it a bit better, not feel as much stress about it, I don't know. Maybe one of you mums out there who are a stay-at-home mum and money is tight, maybe you can let me know um, how you felt about that. But I did really, really struggle with not being able to provide more financially when we were having real struggles. One thing I have really enjoyed is having a bit more flexible time. I don't say, I wouldn't say I've got more time, uh, but I've got more flexible time so I can work throughout the day and do different things throughout the day that I couldn't do before because I was at work. So I've been able to do my blog and start doing YouTube videos and craft projects and we did Slimming World for a while and I was able to um, make home cooked meals every night. And of course I also started up my jamboree business as well and these are things that I probably wouldn't have done had I been working still, even without a baby. Now I did run my blog before, but I did find it difficult to keep on top of it. I still find it difficult to keep on top of it, but I do better than I did. Um, so I have really enjoyed having that flexibility of time. So I often like to be home while he's sleeping, so that while he's sleeping, I can get on with the projects that I want to get on with. And then when he's awake, it's our time to go play so we can play downstairs, we can go to the park, we can go for a walk, we can go visit friends and that's our time together but while he's sleeping that's my time and that's helped me so much to be able to enjoy my time off on maternity leave, not get too bored, not feel like everything I do is for someone else uh, and it sounds awful, before you have your baby you just want to give to this child that you're going to love so much and of course I do want to but it you need to still feel like you have something for yourself um, because you're going to give, 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 particularly in those first days and weeks. Um, particularly, and if you manage to breastfeed, I didn't manage to breastfeed, but I know from the experience of watching my sister with her little one, um, she just was having to breastfeed night and day, and that's got to be so hard. I found things difficult enough, 
and to watch her and what she had to give um, time-wise that is so difficult but once your little one gets into a better routine and if you're able to um, get into a routine while they are sleeping and do some things for yourself not just cleaning the house and yes it is great to have a clean and tidy house I that's something I it's on the list to do all the time I, I love to have a clean and tidy house but I also want to do some things for myself and so I have had projects that I've done for myself and not just for me for my home for my my boy um, I've made things for his bedroom and I've done other craft projects around the house that I've enjoyed doing and I've wanted to do I just haven't had time before until now and so it's so important to give yourself some time um, amongst everything else that's required of you you know you're trying to keep a home and look after a baby and, and giving yourself some time um, to do the things that you want to do is so important and it's really really helped me to be able to enjoy my time off of work um, not get bored and um, feel like I've got something for myself and, and it's difficult believe me it's so difficult you know I'm <laughs> When he sleeps, I think, right, okay, I could have half an hour, I could have an hour, I could have an hour and a half, and sometimes I have two and a half hours. I just don't know how long I've got, and I think, okay, what needs doing, and what do I want to do first? And sometimes I decide to go into the dishes first, and then he wakes up, and I can't do the thing for myself. Sometimes I decide to work on one of my own projects, then he wakes up, and I can't get dinner ready. And so it is really, really difficult, but at the same time, it also gives you something back for yourself. And so I often found that I'd be working on a project that should be get, get finished that day. It would take me a week to finish, it would take me two weeks to finish, but it really didn't matter. It didn't matter that it took me two weeks, because at the end of the two weeks, I'd got it done. I'd accomplished something more than just doing the dishes, more than just making a meal. And I do enjoy cooking. Um, so it's not that I don't enjoy cooking but I wanted to be able to do some other things for myself and so it, things might take you longer to do but just start doing them and that's really helped me it, it, it gave me a purpose um, and I wish I had more time because I've got so many projects I want to do now now that I've started that I just want to do everything now and so I'm going to be going back to work and I'm still going to want to do those projects but I'm not going to have as much time so as I said before um, I have had around 11 months off on maternity leave. So I had the nine months paid, which is statutory maternity leave. And then after that, you can have longer, you can have up to 52 weeks off of um, from work, um, but the last part isn't paid. So we decided that I would return to work after those nine months. Now, you can still build up your annual leave while you're on maternity leave. So I had my annual leave which was almost a whole year's worth of annual leave, plus some bank holidays, which were built up as well, um, that I could take. And that was taken on a full-time basis because I was full-time contract before going on maternity leave. But I'm going back part-time, so I took my annual leave part-time. So I had full-time annual leave allowance taken on a part-time basis. So I've been able to stretch it out a little bit, which takes me to having 11 months off. Now I could have taken longer, like I said, but we didn't want to, be without any income from my my job. Um, we just couldn't cope with doing that. We've already struggled, and it's going to be a struggle even on my full not full time wage, not full time, but um, full wage, which is a lot higher than my maternity wage. But it's going to be a struggle anyway. So on the maternity wage, it was just oh, it was awful at times. Um, and we have really, really struggled and we've probably spent more money sometimes because we were trying not to spend money and it just, yeah, I would say just keep doing what you were doing before, keep planning it and do a full week's shop, food shop or month food shop, however you do it. Don't say, oh, let's just see how we do this week because what happens is you realise on a Monday that you've run out of something so you go to the shop and then you buy a few extra items and then you realise on a Tuesday that you've run out of something else and so you go to the shop and you buy some other items that you didn't need or maybe you did need but it just builds up so that's probably made it a lot worse um, so my advice is just stick to whatever you are doing before maybe cut back a little bit but stick to your plans if you meal plan stick to that we were doing all of that and then it got really tight and we just stopped 
and I think it was we stopped out of panic and we shouldn't have done anyway we're back to meal planning and we're back to um, doing a weekly or two weekly food shop um, and hopefully that will get us back on track and of course I'm going to be back at work as well so my wage has gone up so as I said at the beginning um, before I had my little one um, I did say that I was definitely going back to work and that I wanted to go back to work now that I've got my little one here um, or not so little if you see pictures of him or videos of him he is pretty tall um, but he is still 10 months so he still is a baby even though he is wanting to walk and the rest of it he is still a baby and if you ask me now do I want to go back to work not really there have been tears and lots of emotions um, I can't really put my finger on what it's all about all the emotions part of it is stressing about the idea of being at work and trying to deal with everything at home part of it is I feel like he's too young he should still be with me um, particularly the majority of the time um, he has been going to my mum's house once a week um, and he's totally fine he is totally fine um, and I have been alright about it I've actually really 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 enjoyed that one day a week on my own and probably should have gone shopping I didn't go shopping I should have done that because I haven't done that in such a long time just go shopping and not have a baby to think about getting out of the car and putting it into a pushchair or a trolley or them screaming at me or making lots of noise I should have gone shopping oh well <laughs> I've really enjoyed that one day to myself and I've been able to work on different projects. It's never a lot long enough. I always feel like I need another two or three days to get everything done. But I've been able to work on things without having to worry about him waking up or needing food or needing a nappy change. And I don't mind doing all those things, but it is really this, that one day a week I have really, really enjoyed. Um, but the difference is that one day a week was for me being at home doing the things that I wanted to, wanted to do. Yes there was some housework that I did and some cooking but there wasn't very much of that. It was mostly the projects that I was working on, writing a blog, taking some photos, doing some videos. Today he is with his nana and I'm doing some videos. So I've recorded about three or four today and I've been able to do that without me disturbing him or him disturbing me um, and so it has been so so nice. So it's not that I don't want him to go elsewhere. I'm fine with him going elsewhere and I'm fine with him being with my mum. I'm even fine for him to go to a nursery because he will be totally fine. He is such a sociable little baby and I really don't think he will have any problem with being at nursery. He probably won't even notice me leaving. Um, but he's, you know, he will smile when, when I get back to pick him up. So he would be totally fine in that in between time. Um, but the difference is being away from him for half the week um, and feeling like I should be there with him, I should be taking him to playgroups, I should be providing for him at home. Now of course I am providing for him financially but there are so many other things that he needs providing for him um, at home and, and he's learning so much and I just I want to be there to enjoy it I, and I know his dad is going to miss out on some of those things and that is sad as well um, but I just feel like one of us should be here with him while he's learning all these new things at least until he's a bit older and, and I wish I could be um, but there are two reasons why I'm going back to work the first reason is it's part of my contract I need to go back for three months I took extra maternity pay um, from my company which was part of my contract that I could do that but in order to take that I had to go back for three months so for three months I need to go back it's part of my contract whether I do it now or whether I do it if I extended my maternity leave a little bit longer I need to go back so that's the first reason if I have to I'd have to pay the money back and we just don't have it. It would send us bankrupt, or not, maybe not quite, but it, you know, you're talking a lot of money. My second reason is we just don't have the money for me not to work, and it's a bit of a catch-22 situation. We can't afford for me to not work, and we can't afford for me to work. If, I'm, if I am working, we've got childcare costs. Now, he is gonna to go to my mum for a little while, and that's gonna be just for the next few months, um, just to see us through because I have to go back to work and I'm really really grateful for that 
but that's a very temporary thing and then we've got to think about what's happening with him after that. He, we will have to pay for a um, childminder or a nursery and they are expensive. I've not looked into the costs but I used to work in a nursery and I do know that, I mean that was a long time ago and they were expensive so I can only imagine that they were a lot more expensive now. And I just feel like most of my wage is going to be going into the childcare costs. Now I know that everyone has that situation, but our outgoings are based on both of our incomes. And so that was probably a mistake on our part to buy a house that required both of our incomes. We did go well under budget, so it's not like we went to the top of our budget. We went well, well, well under budget. But our outgoings are based on both of our incomes. Now, there was definitely some spare when we were both working full time. So it's not like we were to the penny with us both working full time, but it's gonna be really, really tight with me working part time. So to add childcare costs onto that leaves us empty again, leaves us short each month. So it's really hard to know what to do. Um, but at the moment I just need to work because we don't have enough money coming in. My ideal situation would be to be a uh, work at home mum. So I'd be at home with my little boy um, but I would be working but that is not easy to come by. So I will probably be doing a bit of everything for the next few months to a year to long, however long. So I will be at work, I will have my little one at home or in, a, in childcare during the day when I'm at work and I will be doing some work at home work as well. So it's going to be difficult it's going to require a lot of planning and a lot of structure but hopefully we can make it work hopefully i can make some money doing the work at home work but we'll have to see at the moment i'm going back to work um, but i'll be doing that as well as having a little one at home and doing the work at home as well so i will probably do that for a little while you know the next few months even to a year and just see if i can make some money working at home um, and then we will be able to reevaluate the situation. But I will update you on that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I will update you on how I've coped with going back to work because at the end of the day it's more how I've coped because I'm sure Tommy is going to be totally fine. He just loves other people and he, you know, at the moment he's with my mum and he um, goes there once a week anyway at the moment so I don't think it's going to affect him any at all going there three times a week um, it'd be more me how it affects me and then if we do put him into childcare again I don't think it will affect him he just loves other people he loves new toys and they are set up for looking after children and doing different activities so I'm sure he will be totally fine but I will update you on how I've coped with that and how our family has coped with the change in our situation because obviously it's nearly a year that I've been off work and it's going to be a huge change to our family and I just don't know how I'm going to cope with it being back at work even for three days but I'm sure I will be fine um, but if you've, if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions um, relating to this or anything else relating to family um, please leave it in the comments below and hopefully I will be able to make another video on something like this but I will see you in my next video bye